Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. And today I am going to be showing you how to create a cloth and roll animation using cloth dynamics in C4D. So, let's get started. Alrighty then, the first thing we have to do is to create uh, the cloth, but we need to create it already folded up so that later we can unroll it using cloth dynamics. So how do we do this? We start off with a plane and then I will get a bezier spline. Go to either the left or right view. I'm not sure which one it is here. My labels disappeared. Uh, this is usually like a little label which tells you which view you are in but I accidentally knocked the switch off I guess and um, I was just too lazy to ever show well to find to figure out how to bring those labels back so who cares anyway let's um, assume this is the right view which I think it is I will uh, draw a profile of how I how I want my cloth to look like when it is folded from the from the side view imagine you have a flat piece of cloth and then you fold it up what might it look like from either the left or the right side from directly on the left side or the right side um, imagine that it'll it's probably nothing like what we have here but you know this should do for this tutorial I'm gonna do this uh, and draw maybe seven different uh, turns. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, six turns, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. Okay. So this is where we'll be starting from. I will press T to just scale this down and squash it up a little bit. And then um, in the perspective view, I will go to my deformers and get a spline wrap. Put this below our plane and then in the spline section we will drop in uh, the spline which we just drew. This is not going to look correct right away. This is because we need to change the orientation of the plane to Z plus or positive Z and uh, this is the result. I think I maybe want to squash this up a little more. Not too much, just a little bit more. And uh, we will go ahead and make this editable. So right click this and then you want to go to current state to object. And uh, what this would do is basically create an editable version of uh, our um, setup that we had to begin with and um, you may want to save your spline and your plane with the spline wrap just in case you want to go in and change how it looks but uh, I'm pretty happy with this so I can now nah, you know what I'll leave them just in case okay so now that we have our editable plane we can see here we can go in here and play around with the points we don't want to do that anyway but you can and uh, we can go ahead and add cloth dynamics so right click simulation and then cloth and when I hit play you can see that the dynamics start working right away but obviously this is not the animation that we want so to get this to work properly we first of all need to set some anchor points some points along which the cloth is going to unroll from so if I select all of these using my uh, selection tool I can go to the cloth tag and go to the dresser tab and uh, where it says fixed points I'll hit set uh, the points will change color and now when I hit play you can see that uh, my cloth is unfolding uh, from those fixed points However, this does not look or behave like a cloth. 
so we want to change some settings uh, we'll go to the tag tab and uh, set the flexion to zero the bounds to zero friction to let's say 30 percent and uh, this is looking a little bit better but uh, we're still not quite there we're gonna go to the expert tab and tick self collision and what this will do is uh, make sure that the cloth does not intersect with it uh, with itself it's gonna collide uh, if surfaces meet and uh, that's just a little bit more realistic we are gonna go to the forces tab and put the global drag to 1% and uh, we can maybe play around with the wind uh, the global drag just uh, will either slow it, yeah, it will slow it down so if I put this to like 50 you will see that the motion is much more restricted uh, let's put this at 1% just a little bit and I'm going to extend my timeline to be around 6 seconds and then uh, wind strength I will have this as maybe 3 and you can see that it's uh, now blowing around that's probably too much though let's go for just one uh, these values are very sensitive I'll choose an exposition uh, wind direction X of 1 wind direction uh, Z 1 also and Y yeah 1 also and this is just going to give us some uh, nice continuous movement so this doesn't just completely stop but you know if you want it to completely stop you just skip this section don't add any wind uh, you can also play around with some of these controls the wind turbulence strength and the speed and again that will just uh, give you some um, some different animation okay uh, there's a bit of an issue on here you can see this this weird jumpy stuff happening so you know this is uh, this is gonna happen a lot anytime you deal with cloth you will get some weird things like that happening so if that does happen you just wanna go into some of your values here and just change them to a different number so I'll put my friction up to let's say 60 and uh, that will probably stop that problem and uh, it's still happening so maybe I'm gonna go to the iterations and maybe put this up to like 8 or something and uh, iterations controls uh, the overall stiffness uh, of your cloth if you right click you can click show help and uh, it gives you more information about this particular control okay so this is uh, looking pretty good I'm happy with this animation I am gonna go to my plane and add a hypernerves because if you look at the beginning here there's a lot of sharp edges and we don't want that so if I go to the nerves icon I will get hypernerves and drop our cloth into here and now we have some nice curved um, edges which looks a lot better and uh, that is the result of the unfold and you'll notice that it just doesn't fall right away it kinda stays bunched up uh, okay before I can do any rewinding I need to cache it so calculate cache and uh, now when I hit play you can see it's a lot more fluid and faster because it's been saved to our memory and I can now scrub through and watch exactly how this whole thing unfolds right looking pretty good one final step is to add a little bit of depth to this mesh if I um, go to simulate I can get cloth cloth nerves and drop the hypernerves into the cloth nerves 
the cloth nibs also adds some subdivision so we're gonna bring that down to zero and uh, the thickness is what we are interested in we'll change this to something like 0 0.3 so just a little bit and this was gonna give us just a little bit of depth to this uh, piece of cloth so this is what it looks like now this is what it looked like before and uh, you know that's it that is how you create an uh, a cloth and roll animation you can play around with this uh, you know see what settings work for you you could uh, you know some applications for this could be you could simply have your logo here um, just a texture will do um, play around with the lighting and so on uh, maybe you're trying to make some kind of uh, war banner uh, like a medieval themed animation with like a crest or logo on here there's a lot of applications for this but uh, you know it's, it's just advice you can do whatever you want to do